hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to install laravel app on your phone i mean you install laravel on your phone and you can do anything that you possibly could do on your laptop with laravel on your phone so the purpose of this video is uh for those of you that doesn't have laptop or for those of you that have laptop but don't have access to it you can easily just you know upload your project to github and you know continue the project using your phone yes using your phone you can run the php artisan commands and all others on your phone so without wasting much of your time let us get to the video all right and if you're new to this channel please make sure you like and subscribe and turn on bell notifications as this motivates us and help us do more video like this all right let's begin all right welcome back so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be installing the application called tamox on our phone i know most of you know what tamox is but for the benefit of those that don't know what tamox is all right tamox is an android terminal emulator and a linux environment app that works directly with no routine or setup required so to install tamox you're going to go to the website www.fdroid.org and i'm going to be dropping the link to fdroid in the description below you're going to download and install fdroid from fdroid.org then from fdroid we're going to be installing tamox so after downloading and installing fdroid you're going to use the search bar and search for tamox just like i am doing like this you're going to search for tamox terminal all right and from there you're going to install tamox as for me i already have tamox installed but i'm just going to update it all right for the sake of this video so we're just going to wait a little bit for tamox to install then after installing tamox the next thing you're going to do is we're going to launch the tamox terminal application so this is tamox we're going to launch tamox all right so just open the application and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to update the tamox repositories now to do that we're going to be typing the command apt update and and apt upgrade so i'm going to be posting all these commands in the description below if i don't post the command in the description below you're going to find a link that has all the command inside all right in the description below so please make sure you check the description for everything step by step guide on how to install laravel on your phone all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to give tamox storage permission to our phone now i already have storage permission but for the sake of those that don't know how to do this you're going to type the command tamox that set up that storage and as you can see i already have storage permission so i just type no to you know not refresh my tamox storage all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install php now to install php we type the command apt install php all right and as you can see php install so command php dash dash version php dash dash version is used to check the version of the php all right so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to install laravel and to do that you're going to cd into storage then you're going to cd into shared all right and from here we're going to make a directory a new directory and i'm going to be naming the directory lara app all right so make the ir lara app make the ir means make directory and inside this lara app if i type ls now as you can see you can see i have already made lara app so we're going to cd into lara app and inside lara app we're going to be install our laravel all right so as you can see the next thing we're going to do is um as i type pwd pwd means print working directory so i want to give um my tamox home page permission to use lara app so i'm going to copy the directory of lara app and i'm going to type the cd command to go back home and as you can see i'm already back in my home page, in my home page. and i'm going to type the command ln-s then i'm going to print the what that's the working directory of lara app that i copied i'm going to put it there and as you can see lara app is now in my home storage so you don't have to worry about this i'm going to be pasting the command in the description below so just copy your commands from there all right so from there now after giving tamoxone storage lara permission the next thing you're going to do is 
we're going to install composer now to install composer we're going to go to getcomposer.org slash downloads and we want to copy all the commands here all command this php dash app so we're going to copy all of these commands all right so we're going to copy everything okay so after copying this command head back to your tamox application or to your terminal all right and you're going to paste the command inside the lara app that we just created this lara app so you could decide to name lara app anything in your own terminal okay as for me i'm naming the lara app so if you wish you can follow my steps all right and if you wish you can name it anything you like so you should see something like this all settings correct for using computer and uh, for using composer and composer has been installed and if you type ls again you should see the file composer.far so after installing composer the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install laravel now to install laravel we're going to be going to laravel.com which is the official home page for laravel all right so from laravel.com you're going to click on get started all right get started here okay and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll down we're going to scroll down to um using composer all right so you're going to look for composer install via composer rather as you can see install via composer so what we're just going to copy from here is the create project laravel slash laravel all right you don't have to copy the composer on the back and you don't have to copy the example app at the front just create project laravel slash laravel all right that is the only thing you need to copy all right so you copy that and you head back to your tamox terminal so now on your tamox terminal you want to type the command php composer all right we're going to type the command php composer.far then we're going to paste what we just copied from laravel.com right now which is create project laravel slash laravel then you're going to create a name of your own that you want to give your laravel application so as for me i'm just going to be using the name um lara tooth lara tooth all right or lara okay let me use lara lara is very very okay so and as you can see this is going to take a little bit of time after installing it it should tell you application key set successfully and as you can see as i type ls now there is a new folder called lara on my application so i'm going to cd into lara and if i type ls as you can see everything i need to run my laravel application encoding artisan and bootstrap has been installed so if i type the command php artisan serve as you can see laravel development server has been hosted in our local port http 127.0.0.1 slash 8000 so if i copy this right now all right if i copy and um and I head back to my let me off my data so that you can see this and I head back to my chrome story and to my chrome browser and if I paste the command there all right if I paste the website address there as you can see we're just going to wait a little bit for this to load as you can see Laravel framework has been installed so if you want to you know use Laravel to run some some codes I am going to recommend all right i'm going to recommend that you use this application the application name is um a code all right so i'm going to just stop this now and i'm going to download a code so that you can see how a code works all right so we're going to head to play store play store and you're going to search for a code so i'm also going to drop the command to a code in the description below or the link rather to a code in the description below so you're going to go to a code and as you can see let's wait a little bit for this to load and um okay as you can see there it is a code a code is a very powerful code editor and i personally use a code so i would recommend that you use a code all right so after installing a code the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to open a code now and i'm going to run some codes so that you can see all right so that you can know how to use a code or so that you can see that a code is is actually very okay so you're going to give a code access to your storage by clicking on allow and we're going to wait for a code to load editors all right so now we're going to 
launch our laravel app in a code or we're going to give a code permission to our laravel app so to do this you're going to look for your lara app as you can see right here lara app which i created in my tamox terminal as you can see this is lara app and we're going to select this folder all right so as you can see the folder lara app has been selected so now we can code with our laravel application using a code and um i'm going to just run a few commands right now so you can see what i'm talking about all right so i'm going to be installing controller all right i'm going to be installing controller um from my tamox terminal all right so from controllers as you can see i have controllers.php here but i'm going to be installing a new controller so to do that i'm going to be typing the command um php artisan all right php artisan make controller php artisan make all right controller then i'm going to be naming the command um make controller lara lara control all right so let me just name it lara control all right as you can see controller created successfully now if i head back to a code and click on my controllers command then my controllers again as you can see lara control has been created and now i can now use my controller through a code all right so uh let me make a model all right let me make a model and name the model blog all right so i'm going to head back to my tamox terminal and i'm going to type the command again php artisan make model all right make model make model dash m okay make model blog then dash f all right so and i'm going to click on enter and as you can see migration has been created successfully all right migration rather and if i head back to my a code and i click on model and as you can see we now have the blog model there the blog migration model and now i can use it you know through my e code application so now you know you can search youtube for videos on how to code with laravel and you know start coding and for those of you that already knows how to code with laravel this is how you use laravel from your android application so please and please subscribe to my channel click the subscription button below and turn on bell notifications this inspires me to do more video like this and um i'm still thinking of you know creating a video a tutorial video on how to code with laravel but that is going to take a while i'm still working on it too so that is going to be it for today if you have any questions do not forget to ask me in the comment section below and i'll be sure to reply you as soon as i can all right see you in the next video bye for now and please do not forget to subscribe goodbye Bing.